What's going on everybody? Career Guns update 450 gallon which is turning out to be a mostly Oscar tank. Um, just wanted to give an update because I moved some of the stock around and um, all the uh, fish that have been in here have been doing great. I did add in two of the Oscars that I was growing out. So uh, both albinos are in here. Uh, there's one that was the, the smaller one in the back there. And there's the other one in the back as well. It was a little bit bigger. Uh, they're getting along just fine. Uh, one of them was a little stressed this week and it started getting a little black on it. Um, but overall, there's no fin nipping or any aggression. I did also add in a uh, red or copper colored Oscar in here as well. See if he shows his... Uh, face around here. Um, Green Terror also have um, three Jack Dempsey's in here. That's the smallest of the three down there. The The Green Terror is uh, pretty aggressive. He, he chases everybody away from this side. He doesn't like me. Um, he hangs out with the Blue Akara in the back there. But uh, anytime I come up to the glass, he uh, flares out and charges me. Um, so here's one of the other Oscars I said. He's got a little bit of blackness on him. Uh, water quality's fine, so there's no ammonia or anything like that. Uh, but he started getting some of it, most of his white back. Uh, but the other day he was a little shocked. But he's, he's pretty decent size now. Uh, growing out just fine. Blood Parrot is doing great. No fin nipping on him as well. Um... The other Oscar, the OG Oscar that's in here, which is my second largest, he's doing great as well. Um, there is another one of the Jack Dempsey's, that's the middle size one right here. And then uh, I got a convict in here as well, it's doing great. Most of the Mabunas are completely gone. I was able to get most of them out. I have my trap set in here. So I've only got like four or five of them left and they're all still babies. These were from when I had the Mabuna in here months ago. So I'm still trying to get rid of them. Uh, but they're, those last few are plaguing me. As you can see, there's a couple little guys swimming around in here because the mother had just dropped right before I took them out. So there was a whole bunch of babies in here and I'm shocked that these uh, fish have not eaten them all. but. Even with me adding in these other uh, Oscars, they tend to just leave all the small fish alone. So even though this is a gigantic uh, Oscar, everybody says how aggressive they are. I mean, this thing is 12 inches. This is a big Oscar and he could easily fit every single one of those fish in his mouth. And uh, they choose to just leave him alone. So go figure. And then this is the largest Jake Dempsey here, the blue one. And it's really, uh, it's really been coloring up and doing really well. So that's the, uh, that's the overall of the tank. Some nice sized bristle nose plecos back there as well. So uh, never saw the, the red or copper colored Oscar in here. I have to keep my eye out for him as well. But I did recently add that one in here, and he is still in here. Um, but was getting picked on a little bit by the two uh, albino Oscars. So uh, hopefully he'll be able to thrive in here. And uh, still have a bunch of wood and uh, other stuff soaking in my utility uh, tub. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to take this giant stupid rock out in the middle. And I have a bunch of rocks that I'm looking to pile in here. And then I have another large piece of driftwood. <laughs> this will be the grow out i'm going to show you of my other two oscar uh here are the the other two that i'm growing out as well so there's one kind of a little bit more of a wild caught look and then another one that's like a red or a copper color he's kind of colored down right now but um they're doing great. Uh, I've just got them in this uh, 36 gallon here. And the only thing that's in here, and this is my Pleco tank. 
So I had the other Oscar in here with them as well. Um, but they're going to look cool. And they're only about two inches right now. So honestly, I could probably throw them in that the full-size tank and they probably would be okay and not get eaten, but I don't want to chance it. I want to let them get about another inch or so and then uh, I'll put them in there. But um, yeah, this one's really cool. I really like the coloring on this guy. He's got a really light colored body and then this orange on the bottom. And then this one, like I said, is more like a copper or red colored one. It's hard to see with the lighting in here, but you can kind of see what he's going to look like got a green face and then we'll see copper or red colored body there they go back into the light so that's it for the grow outs I'm hoping that these will progress over the next month or two um, I'm not gonna end up keeping like a ridiculous amount of Oscars in there but what I'll end up doing is keeping the uh, keeping probably four or five of them that I really like and um, and then I'll either rehome them or uh, the ones that I have that are extra. See if I can get something else. I haven't decided what I'll end up doing with the green terror and all the other fish in there, but they all seem to be getting along for now, and the water changes are not an issue. Um, and then I still have this 46-gallon uh, bow front, and got all the the jewel the jewel cichlids in here. And they're doing, they're doing awesome. So I just have them in here for now because I haven't uh, rehomed them yet. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with this tank. So honestly, they're kind of just keeping it cycled um, as it is. So I got six red jewels, um, and there's a couple plecos in here as well. So um, that's really it. Just wanted to do a quick update. And um, yeah, if anything else pops up, I will uh, post back. This is more or less just for me to keep track of uh, the growth of my fish as well and share it for anybody who cares. So thanks for watching.